50-year-old fighting over a woman and is now six foot under. Hi guys, welcome to another video. If this is your first time here, welcome, welcome. If it's not your first time here, welcome back. Guys, please remember to like, subscribe, share and hit that notification bell guys i am trying to get to that one sub thousand subscribers and you're the only one that can do that for me so before you even watch the video just do the right thing and just hit that subscribe button okay now let me get into the video brownstown saint Anne. One man is dead and the other is being sought by the police after an alleged altercation involving a woman along the Brownstone Main Road in St. Anne on Saturday night. According to the observer, the deceased has been identified as 20-year-old Owen Campbell, a mechanic from Enfield in the parish. The man being sought is popular known as JT. According to the police report, Campbell went to a nightclub in the town where he reportedly saw his girlfriend and the accused in a compromising position. An argument developed between Campbell and his girlfriend. It is alleged that they both left the club went across the road to the Brownstone Market where the argument escalated. Reports are that JT intervened in the argument during which a pair of scissors came into play. Campbell was reportedly stabbed in the left side of his chest. He was taken to the hospital where he was pronounced D-E-A-T. Now guys, you tell me something. Does this make sense to you? Two people in their twenties a fight over a woman, and one of them end up a guajil now, and one of them end up six foot under. Them had them whole life ahead of them, and yet still, them don't think them just do stupid things. When it's not one thing, it's, it's the next. But it's always something like this are happening in Jamaica. How are you going to control it? Sometimes them, some, when you see like these type of things, you know, because them going to the club for enjoy themselves. And it's what happened now. Sometimes you're better off staying home. They would have been better off if they did go in bed Saturday night instead of going to a club. The temptations are dear. But some of them is too hot-headed and don't know how to, to control them temper. Some of them too is the surrounding, is the way them grow up and the atmosphere and the surrounding where everybody always resort to violence to solve a problem and this is why the all them something are happen because this generation cannot solve problem them always have to get violent you see the tv and the video game and all them something they when them sit down round and then when them see them something there, they don't think that these things are movie and all and something there. It's just get to them head and them feel, say, boy, them can do it too. Some of them, the drugs, when them attack. Some of them is the environment, as Mr. where they grew up in. Huh? They don't know right from wrong. And these are the things that have pulled down Jamaica. Look here. 
This is all like in the tourist area. Now brownstone. Cause you know maybe not many people go there, but some you know might find people. This is why you know people are so scared. Because when I see all in something here, me know yes, you have a lot of shooting and then something there in America. But you know, like anywhere else in Jamaica, people know where to go because I know everybody are go a nightclub these days. I don't know everybody I got one dance with people who they don't know. I don't know everybody I go one carry out somebody else's girlfriend or boyfriend because they know how dangerous it is. So sometimes they put themselves in a this situation really for things happen. Because if you are, if if you know see the man girlfriend, just let it be. Let the man him girlfriend go there and have it out. And try to resolve the issue themselves. You know why get in at it. So anyway, guys, I'll see you back here on my next YouTube video. Just remember to do the right thing and subscribe. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you back here on my next YouTube video.